What is up everybody? My name is Drew and today I am back with you to continue talking about Advent. If you haven't seen any of our previous videos in the last few weeks, don't worry. And don't you hit that skip button. I saw your thumb move. For shame. Here is a quick look at what we've learned so far. So Advent is the time that we set aside to celebrate Jesus's birth and anticipate his coming return. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty reasonable. I think that I can see where you're coming from on that. And Jesus is the light of life. Um, dude, was that dog talking? We learned that because of Jesus' birth and because we know that he's coming back again, we can have hope. God always keeps his promises. Yeah, man, I totally agree with you. So we're just gonna skip past the whole talking dog thing. Last week we learned that when Jesus came to the world, he brought a peace that was beyond anything the world can offer. We can have peace because we know that Jesus will never abandon us. Again, I'm totally on board, but so we are. We're definitely skipping past the whole fact that a dog was just talking. And this week, we're gonna dive into my favorite part of Advent and the Christmas season, joy. Christmas is stuffed full of things that bring us joy. Present Presents, Christmas snacks, and decorating the Christmas tree. But as fun as those things are, they only scratch the surface of our true source of joy. Let's check out Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 12. That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the radiance of God's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, in the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped in snuggly strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Did you catch that? The angels told the shepherds that the news of Jesus his birth was meant to bring joy to all people. And that didn't mean just all the people on the earth 2,000 years ago. That's when Jesus was born. They meant all people, as in the rest of time, as in forever. 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 We can have joy because we know that God keeps his promises. And he sent Jesus to be the savior of the whole world. He came down from heaven and his birth brought joy to a world that was dark and hurting. His presence in our world began the story of redemption in our lives. But wait, there's more. We can also be joyful because one day Jesus is going to come back. When that happens, everyone who has believed in God, confessed that he is Lord, and done their best to live like Jesus did on earth, we'll get to live in heaven with God forever. And that's what Advent is all about. We get to focus on the joy that Jesus brought to the world whenever he was born and the joy we'll get to have whenever he comes back next week. We will be wrapping up this Advent series as we are preparing to see the King. You can think of it as a season finale, but on the kids Bible experience. And don't miss tomorrow's video either. They're literally all awesome. Merry Christmas and happy Advent.